How's it going everybody? We're over here next to Coastal Hardware and Supply on 904 East right there. Ocean Ridge Storage Solutions Unit 5. This is my little building, my little golf cart shop here. I'm going to show you this cart because I have tons of people ask if it's available and then ghost as soon as I say yes. So I'm bringing the cart to you to check out right here. This is a club car carry-all. It's a 96 model. It's based on the uh, club car DS. The only difference is it has an aluminum body on the back instead of a plastic body. That can both be good and bad. I tend to like it. It's more heavy duty. So I've done a lot of cosmetic changes with it just to mess around and give it a different appearance, more aggressive than the uh, ugly DS front hood that it normally has. So I kind of like it. it's pretty cool, more aggressive, intimidating, and it's got a lot of lights. So we can just flip any of these switches right here. And boom! You got your front headlights there, plus your little teeth. Now that's not enough light. Boom! And you got bottom LEDs. Look at that. All right, cancel those. Uh, let's see, you got this little light show here. This is brand new, installed inside the roof track all around, four sides. Comes with a remote that does like half a million things. I mean, you can change that to any color combination pattern. It's crazy. Do whatever you want. So that's all new. The roof itself is a brand new roof, maybe a couple months old. I'm not gonna lie, it's been sitting outside a few times, but nothing is like rotting off the windshield here. This is a actually a DOT windshield, street legal windshield. See if we can get that to focus on. There we go, all right. So it's got the wiper blade made into it and a DOT stamp right there. Uh, it's painted plastic with uh, automotive grade vinyl stickers. These have been on for several months. It's been outside in the rain, the sun a few times, and it's still just as good as when I put it on there. Nothing's lifting, nothing's fading, nothing's scratched. Looks just as good as when I put it on there. Um, this is a car I had laying around for a while and uh, I've kind of accumulated a bunch of other random parts having a golf cart shop and also I've put a bunch of random stuff together. I had a good used lift kit uh, that I rebuilt and in installed on this car. It's a six inch lift kit. I've checked all the bushings on it, all the joints, everything's good, articulates, adjusts perfectly fine. I've even added this uh, brand new spacer. Um, not a spacer, this is a uh, wheelbase extension uh, bar that actually brings the front suspension out another two inches to prevent any type of rubbing when the tires are turning, which th these Club Car DS's are notorious for, so we've already got that installed. The seat covers are brand new. We did these just a few months ago. The wood also is brand new behind it. The seat kit right here, this came off of a Club Car President that I had laying around, but it's been fabricated to fit onto the back of this carry-all. And if any of y'all know carry-alls and have seen the seat kits that come with them, they're god-awful uh, ugly. So this is a much nicer looking seat kit. It's properly secured. There's plenty of brackets on it uh, to hold it in place. Uh, two heavy-duty bolts here and here, and then two more underneath. This also folds to make a flatbed. And then you've got the two bolts there, just like the factory that secures it to the frame of the vehicle. Let's see, this is normally where a cooler would go in this kind of seat kit, but you can actually get access to the motor and the controller, and you can see the green cables, heavy-duty cables I've upgraded the car to. That's all cool. Nice little flatbed here for doing work. I mean, that's what it's mostly been used for, is just around my shop, uh, hauling my toolbox around or yanking some carts out of uh, the woods or something like that some other cars that I own. So it's just a good shop cart. Had no problems with it. Uh, footrest also came from another cart, but it fit this very well. These chains here, it might look like it's attached to just this aluminum, but it's not. There's actually a steel bracket going to the uh, frame that's behind that wall right there to hold it up. And two additional uh, steel struts underneath it to hold it up. I can actually stand on it, jump on it if I want right there. Not going anywhere, tail lights. They work. It's a basic light kit. It can be upgraded to a deluxe light kit if you wanted to do that, but it's just got a basic light kit on it right now. 
Uh, let's see. Let me put this phone down for a second. Take the seat off of here. There we go. And you've got 2019 U.S. batteries. It has nothing to uh, hide here. These are U.S. batteries. Very good. I trust them in all my regular carts uh, and even high-performance ones. 2019s. These last about six, seven years if they're maintained properly. You can see more of that heavy-duty 4-gauge green cable I've upgraded everything to. Um, so that's all good. Uh, the terminals have also been treated with corrosion spray. So that's your whole battery area there. This is a series drive system, so it doesn't have a toggle switch forward and reverse. It actually has this mechanical lever. Um, it's not too big of a deal. A lot of cars used to be like that and still exist here on Bald Head or Ocean Isle. Um, it's a 48 volt drive system. It's not the crazy Frankenstein year regen cars or anything like that. It's standard series drive system. Uh, lift kit blocks on the back, nothing crazy exciting. The wheels, the wheels are used tires. They still got about 70, 60, 70% tread on them. No problems that I'm aware of with them. I've just dressed them up a little bit with some brand new hubcaps. They're a little dusty, but that's because my road out here is nothing but pure irritating gravel. Uh, let's see, anything else you want to know? It's got these mirrors here, side mirrors. They're in good shape. I don't really know if there's anything else. Brakes work perfectly fine. Throttle works perfectly fine. I, matter of fact, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's put that seat back up there. Oh yeah, key switch. It has a custom unique key switch I just installed. Uh, no other key switches out there like it. Just turn that on, put it in forward, and here we go. I don't even remember the last time I charged this thing, so I mean, you're actually getting to see what it's capable of after sitting for a few weeks not being charged. There we go. Well, that feels good out here in this wind. Brakes, see if we can lock them down back there. Turn just fine, no rubbing. Suspension, these big uh, balloon style tires actually give it a pretty comfortable ride because this road is bumpy normally. Hold up. There we go, lock it up, little sidewinder there. Oop. Get it back in the garage here. Voila, there we go. Kill it. Put it in neutral, ready to ride, charge it up, and ready to ride another day. All right. Thanks for checking it out. Come get it. I don't use it much. I've got other toys. Don't worry about me. i got plenty of other ones. This one's for one of you guys out there. Come get it.